I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get the most out of your new Google Voice number. So let's jump in. Now I'm going to be using the iPhone app in this video, but this is also available on Android or any of the other devices. Plus, it's also available on your desktop as well. So in the App Store here or wherever you get your apps, I'm just going to type in Google Voice and search for that. You can see it's one of the first ones that comes up. We're going to just download that here. It takes a few seconds, of course, and open that up. And it's going to have you sign into your account. So I'm going to go to my account that has my Google Voice number connected. And we're going to continue. Again, just takes a few seconds. Now it's going to ask you which number you want connected to your Google Voice. You do have to have an existing phone number for it to piggyback onto. So I'm just going to select this one here. And it's going to ask you some notifications. If you want to turn on your notifications, that's up to you. If you want to access your uh, contacts, again, that's up to you. And it'll bring you to this main page here. Now this is a brand new number that I had just set up. And if you don't have a Google Voice number, I'll have a video in the description that links to how to set up your Google Voice number to begin with, but really pretty straightforward to add that in here. All right, so just navigating the app here, you have a panel across the bottom that'll show your calls. This is your call history. I don't have any calls yet. The next one over is your contacts. So you can add new contacts and it'll list out any contacts that you've already added. The next one is your messages. This is text messaging, which again, that's all free and included into that. And then we also have voicemail, which is, you know, if somebody calls and you're not available, it'll leave a voicemail. And actually in here is one from Google Voice when I set that up. So all you have to do is just click on that. And this is one of the things that's really cool about Google Voice is it actually gives you a transcription of what that voicemail includes. So if you're out somewhere and you don't, you can't hear it or can't listen to it at the time, you can actually just scroll through here and read the voice message. Or you could click the little play arrow and it will play it for you that way. And then you could call them back, text them back. And then the three dots up here is you can copy that number. You can block the number, mark it as spam. You can archive it or you can delete it. We're just going to delete that message. I don't need that. You can see now I'm all caught up on my voicemails. Now, if you want to make a call from any of these screens here, you'll see that you have these little dots here down in the uh, just above voicemail and you click on that and it brings you up just a standard keypad. So you can be able to punch in the number that you want to call, hit call, works just like any other phone will. Or again, you could go to your contacts, select who you want to call from there and call them directly that way. Now, if you want to send a text message, when you're in the message app, you just want to hit the pencil icon. And again, you type in who you want this message to be to, whether it be a number or when somebody from your contact brings up your keypad once you click on the message and you type out, hi there, and you can send your message that way. All right, and then if you go up towards the top here where the uh, three lines are, it'll bring you into some of the settings here, which I think are kind of key. So one is you can have a do not disturb. You can turn that on or off so that any calls will go directly to your voicemail, which is nice. You can look at your archive. If you archived any messages in there, you have spam. There's an automatic mode to be able to detect spam. So they'll just automatically go in there, which is also a nice feature. You have credits, which if you are making some international calls, they cost a certain amount of money. So you can add credits to be able to do that. And then let's just take a look at some of your settings in here. It gives you your Google voice number, and it shows you the devices that you have linked to that number. This is one of the great features is you can actually link more than one number to your Google Voice. So in the situation where maybe you're using it as a business line and you have other people that could be answering the phone, you can add additional linked numbers in there so that when somebody calls that Google Voice number, it will ring on multiple phones and whoever answers it first answers it first. So that's kind of a nice feature if you want to be able to enable that. Another nice feature is for the messages. You can have forward your messages to your email so that if you don't have your app open or you aren't, you have it on do not disturb or whatever the case is, you can have your messages just go directly to email and be able to access them through that, which is kind of a nice way of doing that. You can set how you make and receive calls. You could either have it go over the Wi-Fi or use your carrier only. Here you have your incoming calls, and this is where you'll select the numbers that you want it to ring on. So, and again, if you have somebody else that has access to that, 
that is ringing on their phone and they're on vacation, you can toggle those off to be able to not select that. This I'm going to have that ring on mine. And also you can set it so that it'll ring on the web or not on the web. That's your desktop interface, right? And then you can have it set so you have anonymous caller ID so it'll hide your number when you call somebody. You can have call screening. This is a nice feature here because you can have it so that in real time as somebody calls you, you can see who it is and you can see them leaving a voicemail to decide whether it's something you want to pick up or not. So you have an option here to record calls if you want to select that. Also have an option here where you can have your caller ID when somebody calls your Google voice number it'll show up that it's coming from that number rather than who is actually calling. That way you can see that, oh, this is coming from my Google Voice number. That's not something I want to answer or I'm just using that to screen calls, whatever the case is. And you can remove your history there, obviously. You can set your voicemail greeting. Either have the default, which is the one, or you can record your own. You can have it so that you can call into your Google Voice number so that you can check your voicemail if you're away from your phone or your app. Again, here's some of your billing history and you could turn on your spam filter. That's one that I suggest that it'll automatically add those over to your spam. And then they have some accessibility options here. And then it also lists some of the default apps. If you get text messages that include a, a link, you could select which default app that opens in or, or a mail or your maps, whatever you want that to set. And with that, you have your Google Voice set up in the app. Hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.